Thank you. Thank you. So I, am a, I have a younger boyfriend now. I, uh, I like the little ones. Yes, I do like those little ones. Yes, I do. Uh, mm. I am officially a cougar. He's young and white, so I'm not just a cougar. I'm a Black Panther. <laughs> young and white, and he wants me to meet his mama. That's gonna be a situation. <laughs> Cause he has to tell her two things. He has to tell her I'm older and I'm black. I can't wait to meet her. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna tell her. I got your baby boy. <laughs> I'm joking, I met her. I just, I love that joke the way I wrote it. I don't feel like changing it, so. <laughs> very nice. They were, I mean, everyone was nice. It's the holidays. And they knew I was coming. They were prepared. They put their stuff away. <laughs> everyone was nice, which actually bothered me, you know, because I kind of like to, you know, to get weird and crazy and awkward. Like, I was too nice for a comic. Like, I wanted to represent, you know, act a fool. I wanted to go in there and be like, yo, what's up, what's up? Where's the sweet potatoes, huh? Where's the sweet potatoes? Got my baby boy right here, uh-uh. <laughs> By the way, you're not a black comic until you do this, uh-uh. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't do that, I, was, I behaved, you know. His mom is actually very funny, too. She's, a, she's nice. At, she's a gift giver. She watches QVC a lot. She gave me this lip plumper. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to make your uh, lips bigger. Do I have to explain why that was inappropriate? <laughs> I don't need that. You know, this is the whitest guy I've ever dated. And by that, I mean, he's never been around black people. And I'm gonna say this, I don't just date white guys. I date all types, I don't care. I mean, well, when the economy is bad, I date white guys, cause you know, it's like a storm is coming. And I need something fast. <laughs> But this is the whitest guy I've ever dated. Never been around black people. His only experience with black people is watching The Wire. <laughs> or the Wu-Tang Clan, you know? It's weird, like I caught him one time just staring at my hair. <laughs> you know, we've been together for a while. He hadn't touched it, he's just looking at it. <laughs> so I told him, I said, touch that. Put your hands in it. He was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I heard you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> my hair got wet one time. That really freaked him out. He's like, oh my God, is that supposed to happen? What's gonna happen? <laughs> I live in Harlem, which I know is making his mom nervous, but Harlem has actually changed. Like, you guys, you can go. There are white people in Harlem. And you can tell, cause we got like three Starbucks, <laughs> salad. <laughs> white people bring salad. <laughs> That's nice. The first time I saw a ripe tomato, I was like, ooh. They coming. <laughs> the change is so quick, so there is a culture clash. And like, this guy was actually upset. He was on my block, he was going off. He's like, I don't like this, this is a revolution. On that block, they making $100,000. Don't be comfortable, you ain't safe, son. You ain't safe, don't be comfortable. 
don't be comfortable. <laughs> My boyfriend was like, I am not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>